So, fancy that, being away for the whole foot birthday weekend. I am, alas, back of my setup, cracking doing on some work. So, as you may be able to tell by the title, we are celebrating the birthday of FIFA Ultimate Team. And what do you do on birthdays? Hmm, well, I mean, they, people did this on my 21st, but usually on your 21st birthday, milestone birthdays, you look back at how you were when you were younger. I don't know where I'm going with this, but essentially, guys, I'm going to build the best FIFA 13 overpowered OG team that everyone used to rinse before being meta was a real thing. If you had a brain back in the day and you were playing FIFA 13, at some point, you definitely had this squad. So leave a like on the video guys if you want to support the channel. Lots of foot birthday content coming. Happy birthday FIFA. We've been through some good times, some bad times. Let's get cracking. So we're going to build this completely live as you can see. The team name FIFA 13 because that's what game we are going back to and obviously everybody knows the greatest formation on that game was indeed the 3-5-2. If you aren't playing with the 3-5-2, you might as well not have even been playing. This was the wager formation. If you had a pink slips, which is very much when pink slips was all the rage, 3-5-2 was your go-to formation. So in goal, the one and only. He's actually improved quite a bit on this game since. Don't have him in my club. As I say, I'm gonna build the team live Manuel Neuer, he's 90, he's 100k, all right. Now you have a few choices here. We could, I mean, ultimately, there's a lot of Brazilians in the back line, but you can have a few options here. I'm just gonna find out if he is still in the game. Now, unfortunately for all of you viewers, Felipe Santana is not actually in the game anymore. Aww. And I just had to double check that because I wasn't entirely sure. He might have gone to a completely random league. So the first, person we're going to put in is going to be David Luiz. Don't actually have him in my club at the moment. I thought I did. Apparently not. Wonderful player. Absolutely. Probably the most broken centre-back there has ever been on any FIFA. And he's still continuing that streak of overpoweredness. Next to him, we need a link to Neuer. Jerome Boateng was used by pretty much every single person in FIFA 13, he still gets used, he's that good. In fact, he's probably used more now than he was back then because before he was just an overpowered player. Now he is a go-to Bundesliga centre-back in our last centre-back spot. This guy, along with Felipe Santana, could be, like he, used often, but not all the time. Still absolutely incredible. We have Naldo, very, very broken. I should, in fact, do it that way. That's a lot better, really, isn't it? Now, I realise this team might not get full chemistry, but I am building a team that would have got full chemistry in 13. It's now five games later. In the first CDM position, Luis Gustavo. I don't know if he gets used in this game all that much. His 85 rated card is actually very good. I can, I'll put that one in alongside him is a player that is now at Manchester City. Now you could have had Schweinsteiger here and he does have a foot birthday card, but if you didn't have the coins to get Schweinsteiger back in the day, because he was an 86 rated card, I believe, you got Ilkay Gundogan instead. He was at Dortmund in the FIFA 13 installment. Gustavo was at Wolfsburg along with Naldo, which is why everyone pretty much got a link. I think, Neu I think the goalkeeper only had one link going upwards, whereas he has three now. So I think that's changed as well. But at left mid, he was a five-star skiller back then. Is he still got five-star skills now? El Hero Elia. No, he's got four-star skills now, but I'm going to put him in anyway. He's the only person that I actually do have in my club at the moment. Obviously, I'm going to go out and buy all the other players. Now at this point, ladies and gentlemen, you have two options here. You could go with Blazikowski. I mean, in FIFA 13, he was just the go-to right midfielder. He's still in the Bundesliga, but he's lost all the pace, which is a bit of an issue. He used to have like 93, 94 pace. Now he's got 76. Instead, I'm going to go with someone who still has a really sort of decent card in FIFA. And that is, of course, the quad god himself, Jordan Shakiri. <laughs> They were the two options at right mid. You either had Shakiri or you had Blazikowski. Blazikowski obviously was at Dortmund along with Gundogan, so they both got a strong link. If you had Schweinsteiger, usually you'd tend to go with Shakiri because they were both at Bayern Munich. Now, unfortunately, the cam that everybody tended to use that was also at Wolfsburg on FIFA 13 was a man called Diego. If you don't remember him, I'm gonna put his picture up on screen right now. 
absolutely incredible card, but because we can't actually use him, I'm gonna go with another player who was very, very good and also German. Bit of a legend, in fact, very, very close to my heart. Arsenal legend, Lucas Podolski. I'm gonna bring him back to Cam for the purposes of this video. And at Strikers, they have both been given foot birthday cards. I was gonna put a right forward S-Bine at striker, but it didn't really make much sense to do that when we've been given two foot birthday cards. Andre Schürrle and Marco Royce are the final players in this team. I'm gonna build the team. Well, I said I've built it. I'm gonna buy the team, and then we're gonna get into a game just to show you how things have changed, whether or not the players are still as overpowered as they was in FIFA 13. This team, if you played with it or had a team resemblant to it on FIFA 13, you're pretty much one of the cool kids in class. You were the ones that were expected to sit at the back of the bus. You were the absolute OG foot legends. I should just really quickly mention, seeing a foot birthday Marco Royce card makes me so happy. So here we have the finished article, as you can see. Oh man, what a throwback. We're gonna take this into an online singles match and see how good this team still is and whether or not it still has the same enjoyment of playing as it did back in FIFA 13. Okie dokie, our opponent for the video. Do you know what? That's actually not that bad. He clearly plays foot champions because he's got a red Bonatti and a red Lozano, but the rest of his team isn't all that great. I think he's trying to complete the St. Patrick's Day card challenges because he's got an Irish striker. All right then, let's do this. Royce, Royce. Oh, that was close. Shakiri with a long shot back in the day. Oh. Other than his poor players, his team he's got is very, very good. He's also patient. Oh my god, just get it out. Well done, Boateng. Some things never change, mate. Used to be able to do that, still doing it. Oh, yes, Boateng. I need to remember I do have three at the back as well, so. Naldo gets in amongst it. Misses the ball. Jerome Boateng is absolutely on fire. That's a foul. What? No way, I just got crushed. How is that not a foul? Well done, the, the two sweepers in DM aren't actually that bad, you know. Oh yes, Andre Schürrle, Andre Schürrle. Finish that, Shakiri. No, he's cleared off the line. Oh my God, that save from Handanovic was crazy. Should have really buried that. Shakiri did, um, Schürrle did very well to get into that situation, but. Oh, Podolski's through. Podolski with the hit. Podolski, oh. That's a foul. Ref, this referee isn't giving me any fouls. He's just tripped me up. <laughs> oh dear. Oh my god, he's sweating it on me as well. Oh man, alive. Like, see, I look noy, mate. Come on, man. What? No way. How is your first free kick gone against me in this game? Oh my. No one. FIFA's just. Pure frustration, man. Pure frustration. Oh my god. This guy's really good. I mean, you could. It's pretty evident that he plays foot champs. Podolski long shot. Oh, no way! Oh, I was, I was trying to take it back to move for 13 then. Oh, that's so unlucky. Oh my god. You're just kicking it into each other now. This is. No way! Oh, it's so undeserved. Oh, 2 0, mate. Come on, game. Brilliant. Right in half time. That 45th minute lasted for about four hours. See what I mean? No, oh, well, you just got to pick it up. It's what happens in FIFA nowadays. It's not what used to happen. In all honesty, if I wasn't on camera right now, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be a little raging. Oh, this could be another goal. Ref. What am I supposed to do that? And then I've lost the ball. I've not been given an advantage and I've lost the ball. Shakiri. El Hero Elia! Oh, I deserve more from this game. No! You've got to be kidding me! Oh my god, what have I got to do? This is... <laughs> that is unbelievable. 
I don't know what more I've got to do. Ref. Wait, what? How are these not fouls? Oh my god, I'm going to seem really salty from this video, but it's, I don't, this should never happen. No, oh my god. Oh, no way! I can zoom on the play as well! Oh. And five! Five times! <laughs> They're all going to count as off-target shots as well because I've hit the woodwork. I have to say this though, it, playing with this team again, it's more fun than... I'm not taking the game seriously because I know it's a... Oh, I'm just getting battered now, this is so annoying. This is not a justified scoreline. I'm not taking the game seriously because of the team that I'm using. So maybe that's a good thing. Oh my god, he saved that as well. And Danovic is too good! That's what I've, that's what I've discovered from this game. His hand down if he just make double my saves. <laughs> he just got to laugh about it. He just got to laugh about it. Because if that was in an actual game and I was taking that fully seriously, utterly just so pissed off. I hit the bar, which means all of the shots that I didn't have on target hit the woodwork. So unlucky. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, ultimately that is going to be the end of the FIFA 13 Overpowered Team throwback episode. If you did enjoy it, leave a like. You guys are going to say, oh my god, you got smashed 4 0. You're so bad at the game. Everything that happened in the game, I'm pretty much going to show you. I literally can't believe how I've lost that scoreline. Saves 10. Neuer 6, alright, fair enough. That genuinely was a fun team to use. Obviously not going to go out and say build it and re like recommend it to you because I think five of the players don't even get full chemistry. But it was a nice little throwback, it has to be said. And much like real life, Marco Royce is now injured, which is absolutely hilarious. Couldn't score in the game, kept hitting the bar, now he's injured. <sighs> Never mind.